Mexico is the first time that we are going to, to assess the behavior of these engines when we start them on ground at relatively high altitude. So we plan to go first to Cochabamba to do the test at 8,500 feet and then to La Paz where we will be at 13,200 feet. It's going to be a very intense mission, so we are going to spend nevertheless a lot of time on ground to perform some uh, uh, engine runs and uh, some APU runs during the wake-up operation of the aircraft, so the start, and afterwards uh, during the takeoff, in order to be sure that we have the good margins when uh, the aircraft is requiring uh, to the engines the trust to take off and to fly. We are going to test both engines, one engine at a time, so one engine will be maintained at maximum thrust, the other one will be at reduced thrust in order to have a relatively low rate of climb. And then we are coming back to assess the behavior of the aircraft at landing, in manual piloting and with the autopilot as well. We are very, very happy, frankly speaking, about the behavior of the, of the, of the engines and of the APU, that were the main ones that we have tested here because they have uh, demonstrated uh, excellent performances with respect to the expectations. So as you can see, we are in a location that is just a little bit colder. So with respect to the zero, we are on the opposite side. So we were at plus 25 one, uh, one week ago, and here we are at minus 25. It's not exactly the same temperature and the same uh, comfort, let's say. So what we are going to do here is uh, to assess the entire aircraft capability to withstand an overnight cold sock. So we are going to leave it during the night at minus 25, minus 27, we hope even less than that, uh, completely powered down. And afterwards, we are going to, to assess the day after how it's going to wake up the electrical systems, the APU, the engines, in order to assess its readiness from the wake up until the flight. This one is one of the most difficult campaigns that we have. Because uh, as our body, also the components, the system, the hardware are uh, you know, I'm not very happy to be exposed to very, to very cold temperatures. So the cold weather campaign is done. It's the second campaign in a row. In um, three weeks we have done uh, two successful campaigns. We are tired, but uh, we can forget, let's say, or uh, what, what gives us some satisfaction is the fact that we have successful results. Uh, so we can deserve our rest, and this is going to be for us the boost for, uh, for doing the next campaign and to continue flying on these excellent aircraft.